Hi, today in this episode, we are going to talk about detail components. Detail components are 2D families. They'll add a lot of efficiency to your project. When you have a detail that you want to repeat multiple times in a project or across projects, detail components come in very handy. If you're a CAD user, you may be familiar with blocks. Blocks are used in CAD when you want to create a detail that you want to repeat multiple times. When you make a change in one block, all the blocks gets updated. Detail components serve the same purpose in Revit. Let's have a look. I want to share with you an example of this wall section detail. This is a call out from this section. Here, the detailing has been added by adding nodes, dimensions, fill regions, detail components, and so on. Here, if you have a look, these two sill and lintel bands have not been created in 3D, but instead they were created as 2D components. Let's click on one of this. You'll see that this is a detail item category. It's a detail component. Instead of creating this detail using lines or filled regions, this was created as a detail component because this, when I click on this and go into select all instances visible in this view, is repeated three times during this particular detail. And not only that, this particular detail, once created as a detail component, can be loaded into another project in future as well. So it's a one-time effort of creating a component and then use it multiple times across many different projects. Let's take another example of the window frames. The outline that the 3D model is giving me here is not enough for my detail drawing. I want to create an additional detail of the aluminum window that I'm using here. To do this, I'm going to select this particular window, right click and hide in this view element. Instead of using the outline of my 3D element, I want to create a detail drawing of my own. To do this, I'm going to use a detail component. Let's go to the detail component and load family. In your default library, you might have a folder named detail items category. This is the category used for detail components. Let's go to the detail items, look for the windows and look for the aluminum windows details. I'm going to use window head section detail component for my particular family. I'm going to open that up and now it is available for me to place it. Let's go ahead and place it somewhere around here. This is not a parametric family, which is why you really don't have any multiple types or any parameters associated to it. All families do not really have to be parametric. Let's go ahead and mirror this component on the other side of the window. Now I have two instances of these detail components in my detail. I can connect them using a detail line, which is of the thin line line style. Let's choose the start point and the end point and I'm going to multiple copy this to create the glass panes for my window. So now I have added a further detail using the detail component. Once I have created this detail component family, I can reuse that family by loading it into the project across many different projects. Let's take another example of a metal fastening. I'm going to insert load family. Let's go back to the detail items. And let's go ahead and choose metals folder where we have metal fastening. Let's go ahead and choose the anchor bolt that looks something like this. I'm going to load it into my project. This particular component that I'm using is parametric. Which there are multiple different types available to it. Let's go ahead and select one of them. I'm going to press spacebar to reorient it and place it somewhere around here. When you click on this, you'll see that there are also some instance parameters available. And here there are some type parameters available. So if you like, you can also create your own custom type for that particular component. Let's go ahead and copy this particular element here. I can also use dimension tool to dimension the distance between these two anchor bolts. I can use create similar tool to create a similar component of the same type Let's go ahead and change a little bit of instance parameter using these values. You can also go ahead and change 75 here or maybe 160 here. Now we have created three different components here. The advantage of using detail components is that they can also be made parametric, saving you a lot of time and energy in creating similar type of components. Let's say, for example, this particular component is a little bit bigger I can always just come back here and say, okay, you're not M20, you're M22. You can also create a schedule of your detail components that you have used in your project. Let's try that out. I'll go into view, schedules, 
and choose the detail items category. Let's go ahead and choose the family type and count. I want to know how many number of anchor bolts that I've used in my project. I can go ahead and filter the component. Let's say I just want to know about the anchor bolts and not about the other detail components that I've used. And let's go ahead in the sorting and grouping and say I do not want to itemize every single instance. Give me the grand total and sort my schedule as per my type. And I'm going to say OK to this. And here we go. We have two components of M10 and one component of M22. Let's go ahead and add one of the components here. Go to the detail item schedule and you'll see that it has already updated. So the advantage of using detail components are many. The first, it saves you time. Once you create a detail component, you can use it multiple times in a project or multiple times across the projects. So it's only a one-time effort of creating one component and you can reuse it repeatedly. The second advantage to this is that you can make it parametric. You're just using the parameters, you can customize a detail component that suits your project's needs. And the third advantage is that you can create schedules of the detail components that you've used. Now, all this is good, but you must be wondering how to create my own custom detail component and make it parametric. That's the topic for our next episode. So please make sure that you've subscribed. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.